You ever heard the expression, a salesman is one of the easiest people to sell to? No. This is the first I've heard of it. Well, an influencer can easily be influenced. And I'm a person who was influenced to buy this particular fragrance by another influencer, Ode Erica. My all time favorite fragrance on earth. We're talking about Via Cavour One today. Now, in 2024, Uncle Cuba does watch a little bit more fragrance content creators. And by a little bit, I mean like once a quarter. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I have seen one of Oda Erica's videos and there's one fragrance she has like at her top tier or whatever and she had me smell it when we did a collaboration video. I'll put the link in the description somewhere, which is Via Cavour One, I believe, by Zerzhov. So I bought it. That was fast. Now I did smell it in that video, but I was also, you know, Sipping on grandpa's old cough medicine. Sucking back on grandpa's old cough medicine. But I'm a fan of Zerzhov, so I picked one up and let's see how I feel about it right now once again and see if my scoring, what I gave it then and now, changes. Let's roll my fucking music so we can check out Zerzhov's Via Cavour 1 and see if the influencers influence me to get influenced and influence y'all by influence merch. <laughs> Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3U to the B to the A. I picked this joint up off of a fragrance buy. It's not sponsored. I did buy this joint. And uh, yeah, I remember we did. Uh, that was the concept of the video. Bro, my short term memory is a shit show. Uh, I believe it was like ranking her favorite fragrances or something in that space. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We have Angel from Cuban Dome, the biggest in the game. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. <laughs> in that video, this one was in it. A couple of uh, BDK was in it. A, a couple of Zerzhovs. Michaela, uh, curly fragrance, curly scents, curly hair, curly whatever. One of the fucking curlies. Her new fragrance was there. I rated that joint too. You can watch the video there and uh yeah i remember that this one was in there because she expressed that this is like her shit her absolute favorite like the bee's knees this is what gets my asshole wet so i picked the shit up not because i want to get like her ass you know what i mean naughty, naughty. and i'm gonna unbox it and smell it together so let's take this joint out of it, it comes in a little sleeve i care right in the garbage here's the zerzhov presentation for most fragrances big fucking whoop they always come in a very pretty box which i end up Throwing away, because I just don't got space for boxes, but this is a Giorgio. I mean, it's a great presentation, super pretty. Via Cavour Luxury Perfume Collection. Boom, little stamping there. You open it up like a puss puss. <gasps> and that's the bottle presentation right there. This is a 50, a 50 ml, right? I don't even know what the fuck I be, but yeah, 50 ml, 1.7 Via Cavour 1. Now, I could be an asshole. I don't know how many Via Cavours there are. I'm not a fragrance like reviewer. I'm just a dude who likes to smell fragrances and buy shit. That was me throwing the box in the garbage. I wasn't lying. Now I'm pretty sure it was Via Cavour 1 that she said was good. I don't know if it now is like Via Cavour 2, 3, 4, 4, 7. We'll, we'll find out now. But this is the one I bought, Via Cavour 1. And let's go over the notes first before I give it a re-smell. Hopefully it's the same one. And see if I still feel the same way. Well, hungover. I'm not sober. But as I felt in that video. All right, so the notes of the fragrance are Quinn's Fruity Notes followed by Moroccan Rose Absolute, Patchouli Dark Chocolate, Omani Rose, Red Fruits, Madagascar Vanilla, Vanilla, caramel, oud, amber, musk, cashmere, accord, according to base notes. That's what the note breakdown is listed here, and I think it is the same fragrance. It has a lot of sweet, nutty essences, and it sounds pretty fucking good. So let's go ahead and give this a re-smell and see if I still keep that same energy on this fragrance and see if it is a true fucking like gem in the Zerzhov space. And maybe I'm gonna become like a fucking uh, old the Erica fanboy, like, oh my god, I agree with everything she says, whatever, as far as this fragrance is concerned, right? I could become a fucking groupie too. You know how many groupies Cuba has? <laughs> Bro, I got man whores for days. Cause I only got like six and a half women that follow me. All right, let's check this Via Cavour one joint out. No, yeah, it definitely is good. Sweet, caramelic, slightly powdery cocoa nibs. Almost like a brulee peach, like grilled in like a honey kind of glaze. Chocolatey, ambery, very handsome. The sweetness is kind of subtle and, and well balanced. It doesn't feel like it's all over the place. Definitely a sexy fragrance. Almost has a subtle mystery essence of like that coffee vibes from Black Phantom. Like a slight subtle, that's at least how my brain interprets that shit. And this is 
the brain running off of Buchanan and a little bit of like Tito's and vodka. I was fucking rebellious. Not to mention like little gin too. I was really fucking suicidal yesterday. Smooth but very light on the test strip. Let me go on skin with this joint so far. The fragrance does smell very fucking good. It is handsome. It is sexy. It is super unisex. I could absolutely see her pulling this type of shit off or any shorty pulling this shit off. But definitely dudes can 100% Nah, it's definitely sexy. Yeah, it's caramel, sweet, chocolate, cocoa. Nice mellow vanilla, not overly vanillic. Maybe it's just the alcoholicness in my brain right now, but I'm getting a little bit of a, kind of like a Jamaican rum essence in this fragrance. I don't recall there being any boozy essences in the note breakdown, but I am getting a little bit of a Caribbean rum kind of essence here. Sexy, it's handsome, sweet, very inviting, warm, slightly comforting. Has a panty dropping kind of situation. It's beautiful. It's a very good scent. It is a very good scent. I don't remember the rating. I didn't go back and watch the video of what I gave it there. Maybe in the high seven, eight, seven nines, or 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 maybe even an eight, possibly. I wear this shit all day. Yeah, I'd give yeah, it to Yeah, it's, it's really good. Eight five. I um, it still lives in that space because my brain is registering it as a seven eight seven nine eight. Ooh. 881 essence, a very high score. It is very good. It smells awesome off my skin. I only smelled it off the test strip over there because I knew I was going to a fragrance event, so I kind of wanted to spray some shit on me. Uh, it's a vibe. Via Cavour from Zhirzhov is definitely a vibe. A good, sexy, I think versatile. It's not overly dark that you couldn't pull this shit off in hot weather. It's got good versatility. It could be a signature scent for some people. I mean, an expensive signature scent, but fuck it. You got the bread, right? You're buying Zhirzhov, so you got money. So my monkey business is off the Ground and I cheese like a Domino's pie in the middle of October. There's a little bit of a weird undertone, like a little bit of a funky action there. It could be coming from like a honey essence. Sometimes that raw organic honey has a weird little funk. Uh, it's not me, so it could be the, it is the honey, it's the honey. And the more that it dries down, the chocolatey essence does become a little bit richer, slightly darker, and I am getting more like a dirty little patchouli vibe. Maybe it's that honey and that patchouli that's giving me kind of that little funk dirt action. Now I will say it doesn't smell like a powerhouse. I didn't spray a ton either, but it doesn't smell like a powerhouse off the skin. It doesn't smell like it has a crazy sillage bubble. I don't know what the performance is as this would be my first time spraying it on my skin, but it also doesn't, it doesn't pop and it doesn't exude like, oh shit. But that could just be first impressions of that single spray. It's gonna have to be something that I do a full wear on and I'll probably wear that later this afternoon after I wash my asshole, shave my nuts, shape up the beard, trim my nose hairs, and pull a couple of nipple hairs off. Your nipples are just looking right at me. But overall, a very nice scent. For her, this being her, uh, I guess her signature scent or like maybe her tuxedo, like that's my tuxedo is my signature type shit. If this is truly her fucking tuxedo, then I get it. I could see the femininity in this fragrance. If anything, it, it's unisex, but does lead a little femme. But I'd still rock the shit out of it. It's a very good scent, a very good scent. I like the shit a lot. I hope it performs a little bit better than I'm getting off this first impressions. But what are your thoughts on Via Cavour 1 by Zerzhov? Is it a complete dud? Did you sample it? Does it have like massive amount of hype? Are other people talking about this shit? I don't know. But look, even I can be influenced. As a matter of fact, Cap. I'm always fucking influenced. I could be influenced all day, every day. My whole brand is called influence for fuck's sake. Like, let's be clear. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting this joint. Let me know your thoughts on Via Cavour 1. Is there a two, three, four, five? Or what's the best fucking Via Cavour that there is in the Zerzov lineup? Leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooch. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk in my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>